Carlene Rose here and welcome to our Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we are doing a flexibility flow for our legs. We're going to focus on our hips, hamstrings, and our thighs, basically stretching out our whole lower body. So it should be a lot of fun, should feel really good. We're going to start in our mountain pose and we're going to start by getting some movement before we go into our longer held stretches. So I want you to just kind of walk side to side, but it's not just, you know, a normal walk. I really want you to think about pressing into the mat, into your foot, kind of with all your weight, and lifting all of that up and switching sides. But we're doing it in a very buoyant way. So, like, almost like you're walking through mud, but like effortlessly. And that way we're getting some of this movement in, all the way from our feet, all the way up our legs. Think about lifting, grounding into the earth with the three balls of your feet and really lifting up almost from your arch. Just getting this nice step side to side. Get your whole body into it. We wanna work out any tension that we might have in our legs and a lot of that can come from being stagnant and sitting all day. And then we'll start making this movement smaller until we come to just kind of a gentle rock back and forth, finding a comfortable standing position. Slight bend in your knees. Inhale, reach up, extend, reach to the sky. Now bend your knees really deep, come to a forward fold. So keep really bent legs to start. Wave your spine long so we're not arching out through our low back or anything, popping out our sacrum. Fold over and then come to that first edge of stretch with your legs. You can gently wave back and forth. Starting to Walk out your feet, bending one knee deeper than the other, and starting to turn towards the straightening leg. Very nice, coming back to center. We're going to come onto our toes, so really lifting up through our toes, balancing on our fingertips, and then rocking back onto our heels and lifting, just lifting up the fronts of our toes, so really engaging our feet. Now rocking forward, lifting off of our heels, so we're stretching our toes. You can see we're stretching them as we're coming onto the edges of our toes. And exhale, rocking now as you rock back. You don't necessarily have to lift your whole foot up, just lift up your toes. It's going to really engage your inner arches. You're going to sit into your heels just enough to do that toe lift. One more time, coming onto your toes. It's good to stretch out the feet and ankles when we're trying to get into our legs. And last one here, lifting our toes. release all of that bent knees. We're going to inhale, come up to stand, lift your right leg and extend it out, placing your heel out in front of you. It's kind of a typical stretch you see um, like runners doing. You're going to sit back into your heel. You can keep a slight bend in the front knee, starting to warm or stretch out the calf muscles, getting into your half, cam, hamstrings more. Stretch feels so good, I'm getting all tongue-tied. <laughs> and then from here, stepping back into the right foot, lifting up, left heel comes out, sitting back into your hips, right knee is bent, coming to the stretch on the left side. And bringing that back to center. I'll do another kind of typical stretch that you see ground into the mat now with your left foot, right um, hand is going to clasp right foot and ankle and you can just stretch.
stretch your quad. You can even reach forward and lean forward, come into a modified dancer pose variation here. Between the fronts of our legs. And a little switch. So ground into the mat now with the right foot really lifting up from your inner strength in your leg. And then clasp the left foot now. So balance challenge while we're, while we're doing this. Stretching that front left leg. Pulling the heel towards your glute. Again, you can extend your arm and lean forward if you want to try a modified dancer pose. If that stretch gets you a little deeper. And gently release that. Now inhale, reach up again. And exhale, super bend in your knees as you fold forward. Wave the spine long and extending your legs to their first edge of stretch. Notice if your legs are more open now, after we went into some of those other poses. And from here, bend your right knee really deeply, keeping the left leg straight for you. Right hand plants underneath right shoulder and left twist to the sky, opening up your shoulders, stretching the outer left hips. You can even rotate your palm behind your back if you want to Get a deeper shoulder stretch. Multitasking in this pose. And exhale back to center. Now this time left knee bends deeper, right leg is straighter for you. Left hand plants under left shoulder and right hand extends to the sky. And then again you can rotate your palm and half bind your arm if that feels good. Exhale, back to that forward fold. We'll come onto our fingertips again, lift back up onto our toes, stretch out our feet again. And sitting back, leaning back into your heels, toes lift up. Coming onto your toes, stretching the tops of your feet more back into the heels, toes lift, last time lift onto your toes, now this time sit, so bend your knees, come to sit on your heels, Beats bit a uh, deeper stretch here, and then coming onto the mat, you can even take a moment to just sit in kind of this modified Malasana squat. It's a great way to stretch out your feet and ankles as well. And then come to a full seated position on the mat. Bottoms of your feet are going to come together, kind of open like a book. We'll come into our butterfly or goddess position. And you can play around with where you want your knees. You can have them really close, have them farther away. It just depends on where your flexibility is today. Make sure you are grounding into the earth with your sits bones waving tall through the crown of your head. We want to start getting into our inner thighs with this stretch. So start to just gently wave your spine back and forth, kind of seducing the body into the stretch. You don't want to just go because your body doesn't like that. It can reject the stretch. So easing into it, finding that edge of stretch, finding those areas where you might have tension and feel free to think kind of outside the box or outside the pose. You can turn to one side, walk to the other, play around with it. Wherever you find areas that you want to stretch, you can hold it, get your arms involved. Take kind of a yogi's choice moment here. With this pose, we're not necessarily thinking about pressing the knees down. That can twerk your knees. So just let them do what gravity's gonna do. If you wanna get more, if you wanna adjust the stretch of your inner thighs, move your feet in and out and let, again, your knees just kind of fall where they may and then play around with this waving like motion. So 
find your stretch. Wherever you are, come back to center. We'll take it deeper by widening our legs. So again, you can play with this stretch. Your legs can be here. They can be really wide. Again, it's not necessarily about the width of your legs. We want to start with that first edge of stretch on our inner thighs and then wave our body into it. And then as you are building flexibility, you can play around with where you want your leg position, but don't worry about going too deep, too fast or hurting yourself. We don't want that. Now there's a lot of possibilities within this pose as well. You can walk over to one leg, you can wave over the one leg, bringing yourself closer to your knee. And of course, anything you do on one side, you should try to even out a little. I mean, our bodies are not symmetrical, but you don't want to just complete, completely abandon one side. And of course we do these stretches to see if we can get our body to our body's energies and to match more. And just see how this wavy movement brings you deeper into your stretch. And you can even play with some more stagnant holds. Maybe reaching one arm over, getting a side body stretch. That can help bring you more into the legs and inner thighs as well. And then you can do a wave-like motion after you've kind of done your side-to-side -side waves, you're outside of the box thinking. Then take the waves forward. Again, kind of seduce your body into the pose and let it settle into that healthy edge of stretch. As you're doing this, think about keeping your feet, um, they don't have to be like super flexed, you can have them relaxed, but your toes pointed upward, you don't wanna have your legs start sinking in. You can wave back and forth once you've gotten to kind of your plateau for the day. See if that opens up more spaces for you to stretch. From here, roll yourself back to sit. You know, bring your legs together now into a forward fold and I'll face this way so you can see what we're doing. So start with bent knees. Our legs should be pretty open now, but we'll still start with bent knees fingertips behind you, wave your spine long, then you can start to walk yourself forward and see where that stretches uh, with extending your legs. And again, we don't want to round out our back. We don't want to be hunched like this. You want long spine, sacrum is in and up, and then folding over. If you start to do that creepy hunch you're stretching too far. <laughs> so you don't want to stretch too far for your body. You want to find where that edge of stretch is and start playing with that edge. The more you stretch, the more you practice, the more along the spectrum that edge can go. You can wave back and forth here. You can hook your hands to the bottom of your feet and gently pull those towards you if you want to stretch your calf muscles more. wave-like motion. Bodies are fluid and that wave can feel good to help find your stretch and deepen it. And from here, come back to sit, make our way onto the mat, hug your knees into your chest for a moment, place your feet down, windshield wiper, your legs. It's a great reset for your low back. Great 
stretch for the legs as well. Now from here, we're going to stay planted with our feet on the ground. We're going to take your right ankle, place it above your left knee. So right foot is flexed. Now you can stay here and just open the press kind of against your leg and open the right leg. And maybe that's enough of a stretch for you today. You can, if you want, hook your hands under, behind your hamstring or on your shin and pull the left shoulder, your left knee towards your left shoulder. Start stretching into the hips. can stay there or if you want to try a fun variation you can even drop your knees and your legs to the left that can help get a deeper stretch into your right hip and piriformis you can even do this um, if you weren't hugging your knee into your chest you can drop it to the left and kind of a fun, funky variation that gets a little bit different stretch. Then wherever you are, making your way back to center. Again, you can windshield wiper the legs. And then take your left ankle, place it above your right knee, and start by just pressing, kind of gets your femur on both legs, opening the left hip if that's enough, hang out there, breathe into that stretch, or clasp your hamstring or shin and start to gently pull the left or the right knee towards your right shoulder, keeping the left foot flexed. If you try the drop variation on the other side, might as well try it on this one. Just drop your legs now to the right. Seeing if your body enjoys that stretch. holding each pose for a few breaths to really let that stretch change our body and change our flexibility. Not just going into the pose for a quick second and then getting out of it again. We want to hold it and actually let it lengthen our muscle more. And from here, making your way back to center. This time you can do a kind of a windshield wiper variation where you drop one knee towards the center while opening the other. It's fun finding other variations of stretches to find what feels good for you and what your body is going to enjoy today. And walk back to center. Now we'll try a reclined Gomukhasana. So you're going to cross your Kind of lift your knees towards each other and cross your right knee underneath your left knee. So the left knee is closest to your chest. And it's okay if you have to leave maybe one knee on the ground and you're kind of in a kind of pretzel-y position over here. But if you can, see if you can hug your knees towards you or even clasp your feet and see if you can pull your feet towards you and start to get a deeper hip stretch that way. variation you are. Gently release that and switch sides. So crossing one knee over the other. Again, you can stay here. You can hug your knees towards your chest or gently clasp your feet and start pulling your feet towards you. Coming into a full recline Gomukhasana or happy cow. that back to the mat. Now walk your 
feet out and just knock your knees towards each other, towards the center. And then get a good reset for your low back. back to center. We'll take one more twist here. So this time, scoot your hips a little to the left. Left uh, knee crosses over right and just drop your legs or knees to the right. Now we're getting a spinal twist as well as getting into our hips. Center. You can cross your legs, cross right over left, scoot your hips to the right a little. That's going to help us keep in a good spinal alignment and we, as we drop our hips or our knees to the left. Take one final stretch here before we just rest in our Shavasana. So bring your knees into your chest, flex your feet, and extend your feet to the sky. You don't really have to press, we're not going for a strength, but just a bit of a stretch. So have your legs engaged. Now if this is enough of a stretch for you, stay here. Uh, you know, it's your practice, so find where you want to hang out. But you can pull your legs towards you your hamstrings, you can grab onto your calves, or if it's available to you today, you can even grab onto your toes and stretch your legs one last time. And from here, you can take a moment in a reclined uh, goddess or butterfly position. Take one last stretch of the inner thighs if you like it. And then just reach your legs out long, settling into the mat. Feeling the energy that you just cultivated from doing those stretches and the, the flexibility that you gained from holding those poses for a little bit longer than we sometimes do. I hope you enjoyed uh, enjoyed that flexibility, that stretching today. I hope your muscles are feeling uh, lengthened and opened. Definitely want to see you on the mat again, of course, soon. So make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel, get notifications for the new videos, and get on the League of Nerdy Yogi's email list because I have exclusive content waiting for you there. Namaste.